You guys want to try something different? This is a golf cart. It's a club car. It's from the early 90s and it needs a tune-up and a couple small things fixed. So let's make a video about it. Why so sad, pup? You don't like that wind blowing? I hear you. Let's take a tour of this fine machine. Like I said, club car, early 90s. It's like she's got some new rubber. Custom seat covers. Got the fuzzy cheap wool material. I suppose that keeps you from burning your burning your skin in the sun. Yeah. Oh, we got some electronic upgrades here. Indoor outdoor carpeting floor mat there. Got the ball and club cleaner upgrade. Some kind of oversized cup holder. Room for your clubs. Basket for your cooler. Under the seat is the business end of it. Well, I know very little about golf carts. I'm sure this video will reinforce that. There's the engine. Don't know what it is. I think it might be a club car engine. They might have made their own. And then there's the drive system there. It's just a variable belt torque converter like a snowmobile. Yeah, a little bit more access here in the back. That's the starter and I believe also the generator belt drive. And it does have a forward reverse gearbox shifted by this little cable. And there's the rest of that drive belt. Uh, down here there must be some kind of a gearbox that actually connects it to the wheels. Here's the tune-up kit. Not much to it. Two fuel filters, a spark plug, and an air filter. Well, the only real complaint that we have is to do with the starter motor. So every once in a while it doesn't want to engage correctly. Let's see if I can replicate it. course it's gonna work every time now. Alright the other complaint was that the clutch makes some noise at high speed. Doesn't sound too bad. Hopefully you guys can make this out. This is the driven side of the torque converter, the clutch. See it's got these little ramps. Check this out. Uh, yeah, that one's missing. So that's a problem. Also this shift lever is loose. Slides back and forth on the rod on top of this gearbox. So we need to fix that. That drive belt looks pretty worn too. All right, guys, we got some more parts. Just in the nick of time too. It's supposed to snow seven inches tonight. Probably hear it howling away outside. There's a cam for the secondary clutch. A drive belt and a starter belt.
Well, apparently there's not that much pressure on that. Got a little problem with the new cam. It's the same from this peak to the keyway, so it's clocked the same, but the hole for the spring is 120 degrees out. It's also a little bit thicker here than the old one, which I don't think will matter, but that hole being in the wrong spot, that seems like an issue. So if we want to use this, I'm gonna have to drill another hole right above this keyway. At least I'm pretty sure that's what I had to do. Actually, now that I think about it, it doesn't make any difference because the inside sheave is not keyed to the, like it's free to move wherever it wants. So it shouldn't matter where the hole is. Right? The clutch has to be clocked, so that means we have to actually rotate this plate around like so, and then push the gizmo down. Beautiful. This starter belt's in pretty sad shape. Of course, I couldn't get it to do it on camera, but I, I could see the starter pulley actually spinning inside the belt. You see it's actually eating the spot away here. So, it's time. I think this must be the drain plug. Well, what size is this? Not 
not 7 8 and it's not 13 16 so what's that 21 millimeter Draining. Yeah, she's a little crusty. Well, it actually has two fuel filters one here between the tank and the pump. And there's another one you guys can't see down here just before the carburetor. This one's dated 617, so what, four years ago? I don't know if we're going to be able to save these fuel lines. They're about as flexible as a clay tile. We'll try. But worst case scenario, I stock quarter inch fuel line. I ended up replacing all the fuel lines. They're just nothing left of them anymore. Oh. Anyway, I think this circular housing must hold the air filter. It says we can use 1040, 2040, 1050, or 2050 oil. I've got 1040. No idea how much it holds. Say about three quarters of a quart. Well, I think we're done. Let's see if it still runs. That's it for the golf cart. I was actually pleasantly surprised. These are pretty easy to work on. There's 
lots of access to get to all the parts. It's a very simple, straightforward drive system. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.